Well, good evening. God bless you. It's a great evening for us to be here. And I just want to share a few things with you to give you some encouragement and really to say, don't give up. Now is not the time to give up, but now is the time to get up, get up, get up, get up. Now, I just came back from the market and I will tell you that as I was walking through, I started to notice and feel just this sense of solemnness and this sense of uh, people just kind of going through the motions. And most were couples, which is not out of the norm. Uh, Saturday night, what else do you do? I guess on a Saturday, you go grocery shopping. However, whatever, right? So maybe you can relate. That's you. And so I'm in the cheese section. I'm like, I'm going to make a good six cheese, macaroni and cheese. I'm going to add this to it. I'm, and I'm just looking around and I'm just, I can't decide exactly which, I mean, I got six to choose from of what I'm really wanting to put my recipe. And I'm watching, I'm watching the people and and I started just feeling this, this heaviness. And then on my way home, I had a conversation with a sister and I could just feel the, the exasperation that is attempting to settle in. And, and it's very easy when it comes in, if you are not aware of it. And so tonight, whatever you're doing today, whatever you're doing, I, I want you to be encouraged that number one, God has not forgotten you. Number two, his promises are yes and amen. Number three, his word will, oh, I like the gold. We've got some gold going on. Who doesn't love some gold? Um, his, his promises will come for you. You are the apple of his eye. And I want you to remember that because there are some things that many of you have been carrying in these burdens and these things for so long, Lord, when, 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 and, and I can understand. I've been praying for things for uh, decades and, and my prayers are answered for everyone else. And it's like, okay, God, thank you for answering prayers. I'm excited. I'm so excited that prayers are answered. Although it's like, Okay, Lord, um, I started tacking on. Well, I pray that you answer this prayer in my lifetime, right? Because otherwise, what's the point? So I started out in my lifetime, Lord, will you answer these prayers for me in my lifetime? Not the, in my lifetime, okay? So then now I'm, I'm narrowing in here that, that, Lord, thank you for answering the prayers, but I need to see some things in, in my life as well. And, and so as I'm listening and just, discerning what's happening, I want you to know that, that as I said, he's not forgotten you. That as you're praying, that you press in and it might feel like the Lord has forgotten you, that he's forsaken you, that you have been believing and believing and believing for so long. And well, He will answer <laughs> and maybe that I'm the only one that does that, but you get the idea. I want you to stay in that place of rebuking that thing, all of that that is trying to come upon you, sit on you and squeeze you. This season is not last season. What worked in last season was for what last season is. This is not about anything else other than you rejecting what is trying to steal your life, run your life, destroy your life, and keep you from your destiny. No, you must learn, get equipped in how to stand, because if you do not learn how to stand on this beautiful word, you will not make it. And I've said this before, and I said it because it's very true. Many people are agreeing too much with the enemy and then feeling like it and then living like it, blaming God that God is doing it. And God's like, no, my children, I'm right here. God is right here. His Holy Spirit is right here. And so I understand you got a lot on your plate. You are going through things that you never thought you'd go through. You are seeing things with your kids, your wife, your husband that you never thought you'd see. You are seeing and experiencing things from your parents that you never thought you would have to, have to experience. You're seeing things all around in your neighborhoods and your communities and in this world. And, and it's a lot. However, I might say this, 
This word is a whole lot more. I was going to say it's a lot, but it's a whole lot more if we're going to be looking at the fullness of this. His word is where there is life. His word is where life begins. And his word is what we need to be getting into. We're not going to dismiss what you're going through, but we're going to go through it and not allow it to be what it is, that it becomes your lifestyle. We move through so we can testify of what he did. We don't pray about, we pray through, because if you pray about, you'll sit there for your entire life. You got to pray through so you can testify of his goodness all the days long, all the way through. Amen. So here's what I would like to do, because I know that many of you are like, wah, 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 I'm hearing it up. We're going to pray. Okay, so that way you can receive some encouragement and feel it and be rejuvenated, re, 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 I'm going to say rejived, but we don't need to be jived, rejuvenated, renewed, refreshed, and be up and know that what God has for you is for you. And now is the time to get up. My brothers and sisters, do not give in to the enemy at all. He is a liar. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So hallelujah. Yeshua, Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. Now is the time, Father, that they get up. Father, we thank you that we are not victims, but that we are victors in the name of Yeshua. I thank you, Father, that we are not sitting in the pit, in the pity party of one or the bitterness party of one. We are not bitter. We are better. And we are not in the pit. We are moving to the palace. I thank you, Father, that George and Weezy moved to the Upper East Side, that we are moving up with you. And I give you the praise and the glory, Father, that if they did it, we so can do it too and walk in the fullness and testify of your goodness and your awesomeness in the precious and mighty name of Yeshua. Father, for every single one of my brothers and sisters that has been squatted on, sat on, and, and put down, beat down, locked down, laid down, laid out, Father, fallen out, I rebuke this. I thank you, Father, that we are getting up. We are rising up. We are standing up. We are looking up, Father, and we thank you that we are fed up with what we did last year. We are not going to allow ourselves to sit there. It's so hard for me. Father, it was hard for your son to get on that cross and die for us. Let us put it in proper perspective, Father. We thank you that he shed his blood so we could be free. So help us, Father, to understand what freedom really is and not think that we're free because we can choose between hamburger and cheeseburger. Let us recognize, Father, that we have freedom and we have freedom in your word to stand on your word and proclaim your word. So we pray and we proclaim that we are loose. We are not captives. We are not in captivity. We are not locked down. We are not punished and we are not beat down, but we are, we are your children, Father. So I thank you that we are overcomers by the blood of the lamb. I pray, Father, that we rebuke this spirit of heaviness that is sitting on my brothers and sisters, this solemnness, this pity that is overwhelming my brothers and sisters. We say no more, get out. We are not agreeing with the squatters. We are not allowing these illegal spirits to come in and squat in our temples. Father, we are rebuking that. They must get out and leave now. Go, never return because we are your righteous and we are the holy ones of Yeshua. So Father, today. Help my brothers and sisters get up and take their rightful place. Then we say, no, we are not agreeing with that. We are not going to be so solemn and sad and under sorrow and the doom and the gloom because it's raining out and because the wicked are wicked. Father, that the, the world is going to hell as it should because that is where the world is going. But we, we are inheriting your kingdom. Father, we are inheriting your kingdom. So raise up your children to see we are co-heirs in Christ Jesus. That no longer are we downtrodden. We rebuke that. We rebuke the pity and the self-isolation and the depression that is overwhelming your children. We reject the mental instability and we proclaim the righteousness of your word. Father, we are single-minded by you for a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. We are not double-minded. Our souls are not fragmented and we come back to a single unity place within ourselves in full harmony with your word. So I thank you tonight, Father, for every single one of my brothers and sisters that are looking at life with despair and dismay and depravity. We rebuke that. We are not allowing our lives to be that pitiful as we try to testify and share your word. No, 
Father, I rebuke that over my brothers and sisters and I stand in the gap and I call them forward to get up, to get up. This is your rally cry, saints. This is your rally cry to get up and praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. I give you the praise and the glory out of the book of Psalm 150, where it so shall read. Father, I give you the praise and the glory that your word says, hallelujah, your word says this, that we praise you, the Lord God. We praise the God in his sanctuary. We praise your name and the firmament of your power. Hallelujah. We praise you for your mighty acts and we are up praising you for what you have done that you parted the Red Sea, Father. And I also thank you that we can thank you for your mighty deeds of old. Five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, 20 years ago, let us not forget what the devil thought he could make us forget. We praise you for the children. Father, I know many of your, your, parents, your children are not happy with their children, but we just rebuke that. We call forth the good thoughts. The parents think good thoughts over their children. We pray over the nine-year-old in Florida that was bullied by the boys and nobody did anything about it. We pray that no longer will any of your children be bullied ever again and that we so shall stand in agreement thanking you, Father, that you will shut the mouths of the lions and we praise you, Father, according to your excellent greatness. Oh, Father, your greatness is so great. Let us recognize the greatness of who you are. Father, we say greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, but then we act like little pitiful brats. Help us rebuke ourselves and put ourselves in time out to get ourselves straight. Help us to be like David that said to himself, Oh, Father, help us. Teach us how to speak. Teach us how to pray and move in a way where we can stand up and fight this battle, Father, by your word, not by what the devil says, for he is a liar. He is a liar and has no authority to come in and steal my brothers and sisters. He will not steal my family in the name of Yeshua. I've already lost too many parents and families and pets. No more. Father, no more are we going to allow this nonsense. And I thank you. We will praise you with the sound of the trumpet. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I give you the praise and the glory that we will praise you with the psaltery and the harp that is downstairs. I praise you, Father, for it. And I praise you that it was gifted to me. And I praise you that I do know how to play it. And I thank you, Father, that we will praise you with the timbre and that we so shall dance that it is not illegal to dance, Father, for David dance. So I thank you, Father, that we don't need to be in religion, that we can get up and we can dance and we can praise you for all the days long. And we can drink lemonade too. And I praise you for that, Father. I thank you that we will worship you with the string instruments and with the organs, that you brought forth these things for us to see, hear a sound unto you. So if we thank you today, Father, we come before you and praise you upon the loud cymbals, Father, that we praise unto thee the loud high cymbals, the high sound cymbals in the name of Jesus and we thank you that everything that has breath praise the Lord praise ye the Lord hallelujah father I thank you that we are not going back where we were 10 minutes ago but that we are up we thank you that our feet are healed we thank you that our eyes are healed I thank you father that my hearing is he is is healed father where 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 everything is noise I thank you father that I will hear what I need to hear I thank you father that our minds are healed our hair follicles are healed that our organs all of our organs organs are healed. Our relationships with ourselves and you and others are healed in the name of Yeshua. Father, we come before you and we thank you. We don't need to wait till Sunday to go to church for this is church and we are having it right now. And I praise you today, Father. I praise you. I thank you, Father. And we do not have to be defeated by a liar. So Father, I praise you that my brothers and sisters are up that they are taken into task, that they are up, that their children are up. And I praise you, Father, for the two and three-year-olds saying, yeah, Yeshua, thank you that they will know how to say that more than anything else. So I thank you that we are teaching them how to speak, that they can rebuke what is nonsense. And I praise you, Father, today. I praise you that our emotions are in right line with you, that we are led by your spirit. And I give you the praise and the glory, Father, for making the way for this to be going forward in this right now time. I thank you, Father, for the fasters and the prayers as we are moving into. Father, I thank you that we are fasting, that we are praying, that we are entering in, Father, to stand firm, that we will not be deterred, that we will be walking around like they did in the times of Jericho, and our blessings will come, that no devil in hell has any authority to prevail those gates of hell against us, that those blessings my brothers and sisters are believing for will come to pass, that those pastors will have what they receive, that the gospel will be going forth, and no wretched liar will ever come against any of your children who are standing firm in the authority in the name of Yeshua, doing the work that you have called them to do. I thank you, Father, that you will see, that we all will see how great and awesome you are if the people haven't seen it already. So I thank you for correcting our eyesight today. I thank you for correcting our hearing. And I certainly thank you, Father, for teaching us how to use our tongues for life and death is in the power of the tongue. Hallelujah. 
I give you the praise and the glory, Father, that you teach us how to pray. And I pray for every single one of my brothers and sisters that are too busy, bound under Satan's yoke to open up their voice to pray. I thank you, Father. We can rebuke that, that we are not under bound under Satan, that we are not bound by not one single thing, Father, that we are loose and free in the full captivity of you and full abandon to say hallelujah, to come forward, Father, that we are not wretched. We are not loathers, we are not sloth, and we are not given into mammon, and we are not lazy, lackadaisical, but that we are up. We are not excuse makers like Jacob and Laban. Father, we are not excuse makers like Solomon, or not Solomon, but, but who's the brother? Father, you know it, Moses. We thank you, Father, that we don't go bury bodies with Moses, that we know better. That we are moving forward, Father, in the fullness of you, upright as who you called us to. So, Father, I pray for every one of my brothers and sisters that needed this refreshing, that needed a, a, a boost, that they receive it, that they are up and that they download this and that they receive it and they take it with them regardless of the hardship. We thank you, Father, that that hardship, oh no, that ship went. We thank you today, Father, that those mountains are demolished by our mustard seed faith. We thank you, Father, today that your word is what is what moves over all the earth. So we permeate the earth. We thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit and the glory that comes with it. Father, I'm honored that you brought me forth at this exact moment to pray these prayers so my brothers and sisters are moving up and shaking. And we thank you that we are the salt of the earth that is shaking it up tonight and today and in the morning. We give you the praise and the glory, Father, for making the way for us. We thank you that we can move in the fullness of you, not deterred, but going forward in the full abundance of who you called us to be. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for what it is that you are doing, that those that are having a breakdown, this is the breakthrough to a break out and we praise you father for this season we praise you for this time we praise you for the unity we praise you for the discernment and the gift of love and the love that you gave us to we could be here at such a time and place as this to pray what needs to be prayed to transform the frequency over all the earth and the atmospheres that we are in no longer are our circumstances and our atmospheres dictating how we feel oh no it does not father we thank you that by who we are we transform that atmosphere we give you the praise and the glory it doesn't matter what color it is. It could be pink. We are transforming it and we thank you. We thank you, Father, that we are the change agents out of love on this earth, that they are not changing us by their doom and their wickedness of the gates of hell. We slam that door, Father, and I thank you. I thank you, Father, that we are upright and I praise you for what you are doing. I give you the praise and the glory, Father, for these things. I praise you as I pray them all in the precious and mighty name of Yeshua. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. If you are not up, you need to get up. Oh, hallelujah. You need to be praising your Lord. You don't have time to be a weenie victim. You got to get up, saints. You got to get up and stand up. And this is where you have to live. You've got to live here and not here. There's a reason why the eagles are there and the crows are not. You got to get up. And as you get up, I believe you not only will feel better, your health is going to be better. Your words are going to be better. You are going to sleep better. Your, your love making with your spouse will be in the spirit and not in some demonic realm of all that nonsense trying to enter into your home. Oh, no, no, and no, 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 no. You keep moving in the greater things of God. Your conversations will flow in the spirit realm. And I believe that as you stay in this place, that you stay in this realm, that you will see that transformation take place. And I want to hear about it in those testimonies that you share that you are up because you have got to get up. There is no devil in hell that has authority to sit on you unless you give it to him. So you get up. Whatever you do, you just get up. And I believe that you will see that that is how the really the only reason that I am here right now is because I had to get up and get through because you know what? Nobody's going to do it for me. They surely didn't when I was homeless at 15. Let me just be clear. The only way is through this word of God and is to get up. So you get up, you get what God has for you and you rejoice. You rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. If you don't have a cymbal or, or drums or the tambourine, get one. If you got extra, send them to the ministry, please. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, oh, it's a great night. I'm just going to continue to be praising the Lord. And you do, you, as they say, you do you, boo. You do what you need to do, but you just praise the Lord in the sanctuary right where you are. It is well in your soul. You just be blessed. You just remain mightily favored and you just continue to speak the word of the Lord over your life. And you will see 
what the manifested changes will be as you are transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Take that with you. Play it again. Stick it on repeat. Rejoice. Get up. You can go to julieblendministries.org for much more as there's so much stuff there. And I just look forward to whatever he's going to have next because you know what? We are flowing in the spirit. So just be prepared to be flowing. There's no systematic order of things. No, we operate in order by his spirit. So whatever time these messages come out, you just flow with it and let the flow of the Holy Spirit know that it's going to be a flow and to God be the glory. Oh, I'm so on fire and I'm so excited for what God's going to do for you because I had no plans that this was going to happen. But you know what? Life's what happens when you make plans. And so we go with it. You are so loved. I love you all dearly. And it, I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. I could just go on a run right now. And I don't think I will. However, I could. So praise God for all of that. God bless you all. Enjoy whatever it is that you are doing right at this very moment. And you just stay in the presence of the Lord. And you know what? We'll be back with the next message. Bye, everybody. God bless you.